Hey guys, I'm out with Chessie, <clears throat> day before she goes home, and we're doing her entire walk completely off-leash. So right now I've got her in an off-leash heel. We've discussed this so many times before, but the position is on the left, slightly behind. So if there's an imaginary circle right here where her head is, anytime she leaves that position, that's when the e-collar turns on. That's how we hold her accountable for staying in position. Now notice, when she's in heel, she's not picking stuff up, up off the ground. Her nose isn't constantly to the ground and we are walking over sticks and debris. There's birds flying around everywhere. She's paying attention to me. Why is she doing this? It's because she knows if she gets lazy in her heel, makes mistakes, that the e-collar will turn on. She knows how to avoid that turning on, so she stays in the heel position pretty cool and in turn you're gonna get longer more enjoyable walks so look she's starting to create some distance I do it, I do this is the gap now she's too far ahead well she's fixing herself now but let me show you my trick for dogs who constantly forge too far ahead what I'm gonna do is as I'm walking I'm gonna pick my left heel up tap it gently in the center of her chest at the same time my e-collar clicks okay so if she was forging too far ahead it would make contact at the same time the e-collar clicks and that just creates a boundary to keep her behind you and not constantly forging ahead good so she's creating some distance i'm going to tap my e-collar good close the gap and let her fix her position there was that little e-collar heel tap Okay, when I stop, sit, <clears throat> sit, good girl. She should sit and stay, stay. Let me just show you some things that she's learned. So she now has a rock solid stay command. So you can use sit, stay, down, stay. From here, I can release her. I can call her back to a heel. I can recall her, which means I can, am able to get her from point A to point B just by tapping the tone, <clears throat> sit. She's anticipating me calling her. She chooses to lay down, that's great. Good girl. Let's try um, a recall. So I'm gonna say C-O-M-E, tap my tone. She's gonna come towards me and sit her down somewhere at my feet. Come, good girl. Sit, good girl, very nice. That was perfect. Stay. Down, good job, okay. Do you guys notice <clears throat> that when I'm giving these commands, she is complying almost immediately. I'm never having to use my e-collar to correct, just give a reminder here and there on heel. But for the most part, she's really prioritizing me. This is something that we've created with her over the past three weeks. And each person, each handler, is going to have to create their own relationship with her as they work with her. So how you want her to respond to you when you're asking her to do things and giving her commands is up to you. If you continually ask her without correcting her for non-compliance, she will be that dog who just is sniffing instead of listening to you and you think she's deaf. This is your accountability tool and this is gonna give her a lot more freedom and safety. She's not gonna be eating things off the ground. She's not gonna run off and you don't know where she went. All right. Let's do a release and give her some free time. Break, good girl, look at you. So I can encourage her to go sniff around, go potty, um, and just really use that free time. Basically doing everything she used to do on the walk. <clears throat> now she gets break, she gets to go do on her free time. Now if you see her putting something in her mouth that she shouldn't, what I like to do I don't say anything. I'll just start low on my e-collar, press, dial as I hold, and then I'll release when she drops it. What a good girl. Okay, let's try putting her in a heel um, at a distance. So I'm gonna start tapping my tone, and that brings her into heel because I'm moving. Now I can focus on my position. <laughs> Never saw the turn move before, um, but she fixed herself. So what I did was I stopped short, she went too far ahead, pressed and held, and now she's in a perfect position. Good girl. So excited for her go-home session tomorrow.